Hey friends, and welcome back to A Simple Truth. We are continuing in the New Testament. Today is what, day four? Um, and we're setting records already. Uh, we have three books that we're jumping into today. Uh, so Matthew, Mark, and Luke. Matthew 3, uh, we have Mark 1, and then Luke 3. So again, all of these are these kind of concurrent, I mean, we'd be really jumping around if we read the multiple accounts just right of Jesus' birth. So I think that's why they split it like this. Um, so we're going to see a little bit of the same stuff that we've seen before and a little bit of new stuff. So what do I mean? Uh, last time we saw the wise men, the flight to Egypt, uh, the massacre of uh, all the innocent babies. We saw that. Uh, we saw Jesus' home in uh, Nazareth. Today, uh, we're going to be seeing John the Baptist. Uh, so we saw him, I think, yesterday or the day before. Um, we're going to see Jesus' baptism. We're going to see Jesus tempted. And then we'll see a lot of Jesus' ministry. Um, maybe a dyna I'll say that. We see a lot of Jesus' dynamism, dynamism in his ministry. Uh, so we'll see teachings, preachings, maybe that's kind of synonymous, uh, healings, um, and some casting out of demons. And we're going to continue to see that, but today we'll get a really good view on that. So once again, uh, Matthew 3, Mark 1, and then Luke 3. So, chapter 3. In those days, John the Baptist came, preaching in the wilderness of Judea, and saying, Repent, for the kingdom of heaven is at hand. For this is he who was spoken of by the prophet Isaiah, saying, The voice of one crying in the wilderness, Prepare the way of the Lord, make his path straight. Now John himself was clothed in camel's hair with a leather belt around his waist, around his waist, and his food was locusts and wild honey. Then Jerusalem, all Judea, and all the region around the Jordan went out to him, and they were baptized by him in the Jordan, confessing their sins. But when he saw many of the Pharisees and Sadducees coming to the baptism, he said to them, "Brood of vipers, who warned you to flee from the wrath to come?" Therefore, bear fruits worthy of repentance, and do not think to say to yourselves, We have Abraham as our father. For I say to you that God is able to raise up children to Abraham from these stones, and even now the axe is laid to the root of the trees. Therefore, every tree which does not bear good fruit is cut down and thrown into the fire. I indeed baptize you with water unto repentance, but he who is coming after me is mightier than I, whose sandals I am not worthy to carry. He will baptize you with the Holy Spirit and fire. His winnowing fan is in his hand, and he will thoroughly clean out his threshing floor, and gather his wheat into the barn, but he will burn up the chaff with unquenchable fire. Then Jesus came from Galilee to John at the Jordan to be baptized by him. And John tried to prevent him, saying, I need to be baptized by you, and you are coming to me? But Jesus answered and said to him, Permit it to be so now, for thus it is fitting for us to fulfill all righteousness. Then he allowed him. When he had been baptized, Jesus came up immediately from the water, and behold, the heavens were open to him, and he saw the Spirit of God descending like a dove and alighting upon him. And suddenly a voice came from heaven, saying, This is my beloved Son, in whom I am well pleased. Next is Mark 1. The beginning of the gospel of Jesus Christ, the Son of God, as it is written in the prophets. Behold, I send my messenger before your face, who will prepare your way before you. The voice of one crying in the wilderness, prepare the way of the Lord, make his path straight. John came baptizing in the wilderness and preaching a baptism of repentance for the remission of sins. Then all the land of Judea and those from Jerusalem went out to him and were baptized by him in the Jordan River, confessing their sins. Now John was clothed with camel's hair and with a leather belt around his waist, and he ate locusts and wild honey, and he preached, saying, There comes one after me, who is mightier than I, whose sandal strap I am not worthy to stoop down and loose. I indeed will be I indeed baptize you with water, but he will baptize you with the Holy Spirit. It came to pass in those days that Jesus came from Nazareth to Galilee, and was baptized by John in the Jordan. And immediately, coming up from the water, he saw the heavens parting, and the Spirit descending upon him like a dove. Then a voice came from heaven, You are my beloved Son, in whom I am well pleased. Immediately, the Spirit drove him into the wilderness, and he was there in the wilderness forty days, tempted by Satan, who was with the wild beasts, and the angels ministered to him. 
Now, after John was put in prison, Jesus came to Galilee, preaching the gospel of the kingdom of God, and saying, The time is fulfilled, and the kingdom of God is at hand. Repent and believe in the gospel. And as he walked by the Sea of Galilee, he saw Simon and Andrew, his brother, casting a net into the sea, for they were fishermen. Then Jesus said to them, Follow me, and I, and I will make you become fishers of men. They immediately left their nets and followed him. When he had gone a little further from there, he saw James, son of Zebedee, and John, his brother, who also were in the boat mending their nets, and they immediately, and immediately he called them, and they left their father Zebedee in the boat with the hired servants and went after him. Then they went into Capernaum, and immediately on the Sabbath he entered the synagogue and taught, and they were astonished at his teaching, for he taught them as one having authority and not as the scribes. Now, there was a man in the synagogue with an unclean spirit, and he cried out, saying, Let us alone. What have we to do with you, Jesus of Nazareth? Did you come to destroy us? I know who you are. You are the Holy One of God. But Jesus rebuked him, saying, Be quiet, and come out of him. And when the unclean spirit had convulsed him and cried out with a loud voice, he came out of him. Then they were all amazed, so that they questioned among themselves, saying, What is this? What, the doc what new doctrine is this? For with authority he commands even the unclean spirits, and they obey him. And immediately his fame spread throughout all the region around Galilee. Now, as soon as they had come out of the synagogue, they entered the house of Simon and Andrew, with James and John. But Simon's wife, Simon's wife's mother, lay sick with a fever, and they told him about her at once. So he came and took her by the hand and lifted her up, and immediately the fever left her, and she served them. At evening, when the sun had set, they brought him to all those who were sick and those who were demon-possessed, and the whole city was gathered together at the door. Then he healed many who were sick with various diseases and cast out many demons, and he did not allow the demons to speak because they knew him. Now in the morning, having risen a long while before daylight, he went out and departed to a solitary place, and there he prayed, and Simon and those who were with him searched for him. When everyone found him, they said to him, Everyone is looking for you. But he said to them, Let us go into the next towns, that I may preach there also, because for this purpose I have come forth. And he was preaching in their synagogues throughout all Galilee and casting out demons. Now a leper came to him, imploring him, kneeling down to him and saying to him, If you are willing, you can make me clean. Then Jesus moved with compassion, stretched out his hand and touched him and said to him, I am willing. Be cleansed. As soon as he had spoken, immediately the leprosy left him, and he was cleansed. And he strictly warned him and sent him away at once, and said to him, See that you say nothing to anyone, but go your way. Show yourself to the priest and offer for your cleansing those things which Moses commanded as a testimony to them. However, he went out and began to proclaim it freely and spread the matter, so that Jesus could no longer openly enter the city, but was outside in deserted places, and they and they came to him from every direction. And lastly, Luke 3. Now, in the fifteenth year of the reign of Tiberius Caesar, Pontius Pilate, being governor of Judea, Herod, being tetrarch of Galilee, his brother Philip, tetrarch of Ituria, and the region of Tetranicus, Tetranitus, and Lysanias, tetrarch of Albany, while Ananias and Caiaphas were the high priests. The word of the Lord came to John, the son of Zacharias, in the wilderness. And he went into all the region around the Jordan, preaching a baptism of repentance for the remission of sins, as it is written in the book of the words of Isaiah the prophet. The voice of one crying in the wilderness, Prepare the way of the Lord, make his paths straight. Every valley shall be filled, and every mountain and hill brought low. The crooked places shall be made straight, and the rough ways smooth. And all flesh shall see the salvation of God. Then... He said to the multitudes that came out to be baptized by him, Brood of vipers, who warned you to flee from the wrath to come. Therefore, bear fruits worthy of repentance, and do not begin to say to yourselves, We have Abraham as our father. For I say to you that God is able to raise up children to Abraham from these stones. And even now the axe is laid at the, fruit of, at the root of the trees. Therefore, every tree which does not bear good fruit is cut down and thrown into the fire. So the people asked him, saying, what shall we do then? He answered and said to them, He who has two tunics, let him give to the one who has none, and he who has food, let him do likewise. 
Then the tax collectors also came to be baptized and said to him, Teacher, what shall we do? And he said to them, Collect no more than is appointed for you. Likewise, the soldiers asked him, saying, What shall we do? And he said to them, Do not intimidate anyone or accuse falsely, and be content with your wages. Now the people were in, in expectation, and all reasoned in their hearts about John, whether he was the Christ or not. John answered, saying to all, I indeed baptize you with water, but one mightier than I is coming, whose sandal strap I am not worthy to loose. He will baptize you with the Holy Spirit and fire. His winnowing fan is in his hand, and he will thoroughly clean out his threshing floor and gather the wheat into his barn, but the chaff he will burn with unquenchable fire. And with many other exhortations, he preached to the people. But Herod the Tetrarch, being rebuked by him concerning Heroditus, his brother Philip's wife, and for all the evils which Herod had done, also added this, above all, that he shut John up in prison. When all the people were baptized, it came to pass that Jesus was baptized, that Jesus also was baptized. And while he prayed, the heaven was, op the heaven was opened, and the Holy Spirit descended in bodily form like a dove upon him. And a voice came from heaven, which said, You are my beloved son, in you I am well pleased. Now Jesus himself began his ministry at about 30 years of age, being, as, as was supposed, the son of Joseph, the son of Heli, the son of Metat, the son of Levi, the son of Melchi, the son of Janah, the son of Joseph, the son of Mataniah, the son of Amos, the son of Nahum, the son of Elsai, the son of Nagai, the son of Matah, the son of Mataniah, the son of Semei, the son of Joseph, the son of Judah, the son of Jonas, the son of Risa, the son of Zerubbabel, the son of Shalatiel, the son of Neri, the son of Melchi, the son of Adai, the son of Kosam, the son of Elodam, the son of Er, the son of Jose, the son of Eleazar, the son of Jorim, the son of Metat, the son of Levi, the son of Simeon, the son of Jonah, the son of Joseph, the son of Jonan, the son of Eliakim, the son of Mela, the son of Menan, the son of Matanah, the son of Nathan, the son of David, the son of Jesse, the son of Abed, or of Obed, the son of Boaz, the son of Salmon, the son of Nashon, the son of Aminadab, the son of Ram, the son of Hezron, the son of Perez, the son of Judah, the son of Jacob, the son of Isaac, the son of Abraham, the son of Terah, the son of Nahor, the son of Serug, the son of Reu, the son of Peleg, the son of Eber, the son of Shalah, the son of Canaan, the son of Arksad, the son of Shem, the son of Noah, the son of Lamech, the son of Methuselah, the son of Enoch, the son of Jared, the son of Mahalil, the son of Canaan, the son of Enosh, the son of Seth, the son of Adam, the son of God. So again, we get to see that genealogy, which I, I absolutely love. Um, I also like that we get to see Jesus um, earlier, I'm trying to remember if that was Mark, uh, where Jesus goes away to pray. Um, so he seeks a little solace time to connect with God. Because again, there's that divide there. He has that constant union with God. He has been with God since the beginning. And then the word was made flesh. Um, so that is how he continues to commune with God the Father at that point. I love that. Um, <clears throat> and then also Jesus's temptation. So we see that and and that got me thinking, you know, what do we, what do, we do with temptation? And it's all too often that, you know, I fail and I sin and we have a a um, a perfect priest. You may have heard that before. The perfect priest in Jesus, who was tempted in every way, and yet on the other hand did not sin. Um, so it's that that recognition again that you may have heard before of we don't have a savior who doesn't understand our plights. Um, but that becomes increasingly more important. What do we do with that? Well, we have to be thinking about the one who conquered those plights and who conquered death. Um, thinking about yourself and, oh, you know, I'm so unworthy. I've so fallen. Well, yeah, all of that's true. Sure. Um, but that doesn't get you out of the pit. Only Jesus can do that. So focusing on his word and memorizing that and having those scriptures top of mind um, begins to align you with Christ as Christ was aligned with the Father while he was here. Anyway, that is uh, what stood out to me. As always, friends, thanks so much for joining and have a great rest of your day. We'll see you.